All right, today is Saturday, June 11th. Uh, did a major change out of the plumbing in my system, in my aquaponic system. This is the new hose. Uh, basically what I did was I took out my old three-quarter inch hose and I replaced it with a one and a half inch diameter, inner diameter hose. Uh, to give you an idea of what that, what that means, basically this is a half inch PVC pipe that I had in my original system. I then switched that out for this uh, one inch outer diameter pipe which is three quarters inner diameter. That in itself was a big improvement. And then last weekend what I did was I put in this pipe. This is one and a half inch inner diameter pipe. And my main reason for doing this was I wanted to install these vertical growing towers which I'm going to put together today. And I knew that I wouldn't have enough pressure with uh, this pipe to get the water up that high. So I still don't know if I'm going to have enough pressure even with this pipe, but I'm going to find out today. Um, even if it doesn't work, it's still a huge improvement. Even if the vertical towers don't work, it's still a huge improvement. This is the water coming out of my swirl filter uh, or clarifier. I don't know if you can call that a swirl filter. And the flow, if you go back and look at the other videos, is just, I mean, it's got to be at least three or four times more water uh, going through. And as a result, my tank water is much, much cleaner. Now, I don't know if you can appreciate it here with the reflection, but I, I can see the bottom and I can see the fish and the water just looks much, much better. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, of uh, there's some part, there are some particles floating there because I just fed the fish and I'm getting towards the bottom of the, of the feed bag, so there's uh, dusty tilapia feed on the bottom, just like when you get to the bottom of a cereal box. Um, but the water's much, much better. And the grow beds also uh, fill and drain much faster. Here you can see the, this is the, the inflow to one of the beds. And I don't know if you can tell from the other videos, but just trust me, that's a lot more water than what was going in before. Um, it was quite a bit of work. This pipe's hard to work with. It's, uh, these fittings are also, they, they take some getting used to. Um, it was my first time working with them, so maybe that was, that was part of the problem. The plants are looking pretty good. This is uh, eggplant. Over here we have some chilies, well chili plant, no chilies yet. This of course is all basil, oregano, two oregano plants. There's the tarragon. Back here we have uh, some more eggplant, looks like it's ready to hopefully give us some eggplants and behind that are two tomato plants. Oh the other thing I did to mention this also is I I reconfigured my entire air pumping system. The air pump is back there in that cage, and you can see that uh, there's a there's a electrical pipe coming out of there. That's electrical pipe being used as an air pipe that comes down over here to this corner, it turns, and it gets over here to my manifold. And then I put the manifold over here because this is the midpoint, really between the tank and the uh, floating raft beds that are behind me and as a result I get a lot more air in the raft beds I think the plants uh, like it better that way and I haven't lost anything um, in terms of airflow to the fish tank over here in the uh, first floating raft bed do you hear the tomato plants um, I really should have thought about this a little bit more carefully before planting so many plants in one bed. Uh, but here they are, and there are we are beginning to see some tomatoes. I have yellow tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, romas, and uh, pomodoros in there, waiting for those to hopefully start setting fruit. I, I'm getting a lot of green growth, but not a lot of uh, fruit so far. Then over here, this is, these are still <laughs> lettuces, I shouldn't even show this, it's embarrassing. These all uh, bolted, they had been bolting two weeks ago, I just left them in here because I didn't have anything else to replace them with. 
and I didn't want to risk having too much uh, fish feed going through this, well, fish waste going through the system without any plants to absorb it. These will all be thrown out today, and I'm going to replace them mostly with chives. This is the last bed. This one's uh, right now mostly empty. The chives in this bed uh, are looking much nicer now that I have more air going in here and maybe the water flow as well, the increase in the flow, I don't know. These others are not. I'm going to throw these out today. These are eggplants. These did not do well and neither did these chili plants, which there's only one left and that one's going to be thrown out today. Um, but other than that, the tomatoes are looking good. I'm really happy with the air flow, with the water flow and the air flow. I added more worms yesterday. So I, should, I think I have a good amount of worms in the system now. And today I'm going to put these vertical towers together and hopefully uh, show you what that looks like a little later.